more moments as we uh, get these aircraft out and the others uh, back in. Stand by. right there at warbirdradio.com and hear the story for yourself about Joe's incredible landing back on board an F-14 Tomcat.
around maneuvers are some of the best in the business. Did you see that when he did the little roll there to reposition? Joe has every quality that you'd want as an aviator. He's a great stick and rudder guy. You talk to any of the folks that have flown with him in high performance aircraft, they all say the same thing. They say, this guy has one of the best set of hands in the business. Watch him again from the right in the gigantic T-28. It's a big airplane built in 1954. The Trojan
This match is New York with Joe back in the day when his eye was knocked out. The aircraft's canopy was completely jettisoned. The back seater was wounded, and if you talk to Joe, he'll tell you there was a there was really a lot of blood and guts in the cockpit that day. Most of it his, he says. And the airplane, famously captured by a photograph, as it rolled aboard the deck of that carrier, you can imagine this aviator was so glad to be back home. He was airlifted off the ship, taken to a foreign hospital where his eye was actually saved. He then later went on to have a, another incident with an F-14 where he landed it back on the ship like I told you about. But then, folks, he flew the most impressive aerial vehicle we've ever had, the space shuttle, the orbiter. A real American hero here, and he's flying for you today. Look at that, a perfect touchdown by astronaut Joe Edwards here at Culpepper today. Worth a round of applause, folks, for this American hero. He'll be here all afternoon to meet and greet with you.